Hello, this is Bobby at Copalty Beauty Care. And uh, today we are looking at a Samsung UN40ES 6003F. Uh, there's actually a number of uh, TVs that uh, exhibit this problem, but this is the one that uh, we're working with today. I'm going to turn it on and uh, see what happens. Power it on. Coming on, the red light here came in and then disappeared. As you can see, uh, if it does disappear, there is no response from the TV. You can just power it on again, it, it simply shuts off. And then it's off again. And it just goes on and off. And you can think that this is a main board. And in many cases, you might be right. And the first time it got me too. Uh, but here's what we're going to do. Take the back cover off. Of course, it's not that easy. I've already had the screws out. And uh, there are several things that you can do on those Samsung TVs and many others. One is to disconnect the main board and turn the TV on again. And I believe it should power on the panel and it should stay on. Actually, very much like that. It's, it's currently on. It's off. And now it's on. Let me help. Now it's off. You can see the backlight is gone from here and here. Now it's going to be on. And it basically tells you power supply is fine. It's got to be the main board. Uh, but there's more. Now let's plug back this and and disconnect the backlights. Although we saw them working. Well, just for the heck of it, let's do it. And everything else is turned on. Now we turn it on. Power button. The sound for welcome. There is no backlight coming on. And there is no red indicator, but... The TV stayed on and didn't turn off because I can turn it off with a button. Okay, it came on and it stays on. Now that's weird, and I can, yeah, you don't know, hear me, I'm pushing around, but this is still live. It doesn't know how to shut off. Now oh, that's odd. Okay, I'm shutting it off. Okay, it shuts off. So when the backlight is out, the TV is actually doing fine. And here's what I'm going to do. Because I have a few of those power supply boards that we repair and we know to be causing problems in the TV. And some of those can be confusing. I'm going to swap that original board here with the one that comes from, from us that's already been serviced and, and improved. Uh, and I'm going to pause now and return in a second after this new board is down to see what happens. Okay, here we are again with the replacement board installed. This is our label on it. Upside down, this is the original board. Of course, you won't find anything wrong just by looking at it because it powered on the TV or almost and definitely powered on the backlight, but it couldn't power on and keep the backlight on. So, here are we trying. Um, in case you wonder, of course, I did try before filming it on. What did you expect? Uh, but I haven't changed anything, it, uh, it came on. And it kept the backlight on, which is what we were trying to achieve all along. And the point here is this particular model, again, that is LN40ES6003F. And all the others, which will be a few, if I'm, I think I've seen at least another one, uh, that use BN44. There's 0502A 
can trick you into thinking the main board is bad when in reality the power supply board is what uh, makes the TV not want to come up or come up and shut off and if you test even the power board sometimes like in this case it would be able to power on the back lights but it will not be able to hold that when both the back lights and the uh, main board are loaded uh, it can be tricky, it tricked me the, the first few times I saw that now this particular one here uh, there's a slight ticking coming here and at first I saw I thought it was from the power board and actually it comes from the T-cone and uh, it does have another problem there's nothing on the screen uh, there's something wrong with the T-cone my guess is it was hit by power surge or something else and there's more problems with just the power board uh, so I'm gonna troubleshoot and uh, find out what it is and resolve it but for your sake uh, you should just know that this board is trouble bn 44 a oh and another something if you come across 503a it looks like it's the same but it's not it's for a different backlight panel so don't try to replace it uh 502 with 503 even though they look very very much alike that's all